Now let's work on the day eight assignment. Here they want us to draw an image of a triangle ABC after the translation along vector V. So if we look at vector V, uh, this vector is taking us uh, five units to the right and then uh, three units down. So I want to do that with each one of my points. If I were to do that with the A, that would put me here at uh, six, eight. If I were to do that with the B, that would put me at uh, 10, comma, 3. And then we'll do the same thing with the, uh, with the C. Which will put us at 6, uh, comma, 3. In each case, each point is five units to the right and three units below where, where it started. So let's draw a B. Now let's draw BC. And then finally, AC. That is correct. Draw a pre-image and an image of a triangle under the translation 5, negative 3. So this happens to be the exact same translation that we just had. It's going to make, take you 5 to the right and 3 down. And the original triangle is going to be at 0, 4. That's going to be point X at negative 1, 1. It is going to be Y. And at negative 4, well, I can't read that, but it looks like a 6. So negative 4, comma 6. Let's hope that's what it is, which would be up here. So let's draw that one first. Okay, so we'll go from X to Y. Then from Y to Z. And then finally from X to Z. Now we want each of those points to translate five units to the right and three units down. So we'll do the same thing. Uh, five to the right and three down. That puts a point at five one. That's gonna be our, our new uh, X. Then our new Y, will be at 4, negative 2. And then finally, our new Z is going to be at 1, 3.
And that's correct. Okay, specify the component form of the vector that maps the figure to its new image. So all we got to do is uh, check here where this moved. Uh, you can pick any point you want. Uh, let's just pick, I guess, the uh, let, let's pick D. So D looks like it's going off uh, uh, to the right. One, two, three, four, five units to the right, and then it's going. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units down. So in component form, this would be five to the right and negative nine. Draw the image ABC after a reflection across line L. So uh, we look at our axis of reflection, and we look at where ABC is. We're going to want our new reflected points to be equidistant. So A would be somewhere, um, as far as the axis of reflection goes, somewhere around here. B would be... Um, See if we go perpendicular, B would probably be somewhere around here, and then C would be um, maybe like around here. So that's that's what we're looking for. Let's see if we can find that. Out of all the diagrams, the ones where it looks like all the points are equidistant from the axis of symmetry it definitely can't be D. It can't be C. So it's it's between uh, A and B. And uh, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with B because if you look at if you look at option A here, the the uh, the original A is uh, appears to be much further. Um, from the axis of uh, of reflection and and the c's also if you look at the c this c is uh c prime is much closer than the original c so it's going to have to be b Uh, draw the image of ABC after a reflection across line L. Well, on this one, we see that B is on the axis of reflection, so B needs to stay on the axis of reflection. And we're looking for an A and a C that are equidistant. And uh, the only one where that applies would be A. B stays exactly where it's at. It was zero units away from the axis before, and it has to be zero units afterwards. It has to be right on it. And uh, here we have A and C both equidistant. Reflect the figure with the given vertices across the given line. So here we want a y-axis reflection. The y-axis is vertical, so we're looking for something that flipped across um, a vertical line. So it definitely can't be A. And we want the original points to be the points that are listed here, which is negative 2, negative 4, 2, 2, and 2, 0. Uh, so it can't be A. B doesn't even really show a reflection. Um, C looks like it's uh, reflecting um, across the origin. Uh, so it looks like the only one that it could be is D, and we can confirm by looking at the points. Uh, A is at negative 2, negative 4. B is at 2, 2, and C is at 2, 0, so it has to be D. Given that ABC is an image of ABC under a reflection, draw the line of reflection. So we have to figure out a line where these points would be equidistant from each other. Um, 
And the easiest thing is just to look at all the options. I can tell from looking at this that the axis of reflection is going to have to somehow be diagonal right around here because that's, that's what would make all the, the, the pre-image points be equidistant from the image points. And that's confirmed by looking at A. A is the one. Select the image of a triangle after it has been rotated clockwise 55 degrees about point J. So we're going clockwise. Clockwise is in this direction, and 55 degrees is an acute angle. So we're looking for something um, that it's, it's definitely less than 90 degrees. I know it's hard to use a protractor on a computer screen, um, but after we rotate this way, it should look something like this where M would be here, L would be here, and K would still be the closest one. So A looks good. Uh, B doesn't look good because of where uh, the K is. It looks like C went in the opposite direction, and so did D. So if we're going clockwise, it would have to be A. Select the triangle after it has been rotated about the origin 270 degrees. Um, well, since they don't tell us uh, what direction, we assume counterclockwise. That's what the note said. So 270 degrees um, is three quarters of the way around a circle. Okay, and 90 degrees is a quarter of a circle. 180 is half a circle. 270 is three quarters of a circle. So if we're going counterclockwise. Uh, you can look by quadrants. So this right now is in the second quadrant. It will go to the third quadrant, fourth quadrant, and we're looking for it to end up here in the first quadrant, which uh, A is in the first quadrant. Uh, and the only other one that's even touching the first quadrant is D. But since, uh, since this triangle was entirely, well, actually, you know what? It wasn't entirely in the, uh, in the quadrant. It did have a point that was touching an axis. Uh, but but so does A. A, A has A has this point right here that's touching that's touching the axis. Um, and if you look at D, D is in both the the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant, so it has to be A. Find the angle of rotation and the direction of the rotation of the figure. Uh, and point P is the center of rotation. So since we understand prime notation, the pre-image is the blue, and that turned into the uh, the image here that's in prime notation. So the direction is going in the uh, counterclockwise direction. And between 20 and 70, it, it'd be easier if you had a uh, a protractor, but since they at least limit it to these two, you can just pick any of the two points and try to draw an angle. That clearly looks does not look like a 20 degree angle. A 20 de degree angle would be much skinnier, so it has to be 70. If you do have a protractor and you wish to confirm this, uh, feel free to go ahead, but it looks like this is going to be 70 degrees. And finally, the last one. Enter the algebraic rule for the rotation shown in terms of X and Y, and then complete the description uh, of the transformation in words. So here, the uh, image is in red, and it, the, um, the, pre uh, the pre image is in red, and the, uh, the image is in blue, because uh, you can tell by the prime notation. So it looks like we rotated uh, one, um, one quadrant. The, uh, R and S were in the second quadrant. It moved to the third. Uh, T was in the third. It moved to the um, it moved to the fourth. So we went one quadrant. Uh, it's a counterclockwise um, rotation. So we know it's going to be 90 degrees counterclockwise. And on uh, on 90 degrees um, counterclockwise rotations, 
the X and the Y switch. Uh, but in addition to that, the um, the uh, the Y, which is now here in the X position, that also changes signs. So it's going to be uh, negative Y and then comma X. On on the notes, you can see what uh, what all the trans, um, all the different rotations are.